Here is the best and most shocking collection of the beautiful Native American women. The daughter of the chief of the Laguna Pueblo tribe was captured in a photograph around 1905. In this image, she is seen wearing traditional Kawaki attire, adorned with a belt and a collection of bead necklaces. The Laguna Pueblo is located in the semi-arid central western region of New Mexico, near the city of Albuquerque. This image, dated 1908 and attributed to Roland Reed, features a woman affiliated with the Ojibwa tribe. It serves as a timeless window into the past, providing a captivating glimpse into the life and culture of the tribe during that period. Through this photograph, we are transported to a pivotal moment in history. Another image, taken by Carl Werns in 1900, depicts a scene in Hopi, Arizona, where two young women from the Hopi tribe are positioned near a window. The composition allows us to perceive the curiosity and fascination on the girls' faces as they contemplate what lies beyond the window. This snapshot from the past offers us a unique perspective on a woman belonging to the Cheyenne tribe, an indigenous group with a rich cultural and historical heritage. This photograph, originating from 1878, transports us to Fort Keogh, a settlement located in the lands of Montana, and unveils a trio of women connected to the Isleta Pueblo community, identified as Carlota Chiwiwi and her daughters Maria and Felicidatora. This photograph captures a moment in their lives at a specific historical juncture. In another image, we see a group of young individuals from the Hopi tribe, specifically from the Sikimovi region, located on the first mesa in the state of Arizona. This capture is credited to Frederick Monson and dates back to approximately the 20th century. In this image, the girls are dressed in traditional attire, symbolizing the rich Hopi culture. Additionally, a young woman who is a member of the Taos Pueblo community in New Mexico becomes discernible in an image taken in 1895. This scene provides a fleeting glimpse into the young woman's everyday life within the backdrop of Taos Pueblo, a community with a unique and enriching history. Furthermore, a photograph from 1892 showcases a young member of the Kiowa tribe immersed in her daily routine, offering insights into the cultural identity and social customs of the Kiowas at that time. In another image from 1897, we clearly distinguish a woman who is a member of the Spokane tribe. This photograph, taken by Frank LaRoche, provides a striking view into the life and culture of this woman within her community. Another visually captivating image depicts the Corn Maiden, portraying a woman affiliated with the Pueblo community, presumably located in the state of New Mexico. This record, dating back to 1904, offers a remarkable view into the culture and symbolism associated with the relationship between the Pueblo people and the significance of corn in their traditions. In 1900, Carl Everton Moon embarked on a photographic endeavor to document Native American communities in their natural environment, with the primary motivation of preserving and portraying indigenous culture in its most genuine form before Western influences took hold. One of his photographs captures a woman who is a member of the Taos Pueblo tribe during the 1880s providing an authentic and visually enlightening view of her life and culture within her community. The year 1894 introduces us to a woman belonging to the Kiowa tribe, a Native American group with a complex cultural and social history. The effects of colonization and cultural transformations were in constant conflict with the traditions and principles of her people. In 1900, we are presented with the depiction of a young Native American woman on the brink of her wedding day. This image offers a glimpse into the cultural traditions and identity of the girl who is part of an indigenous group. Frank Reinhardt's photograph from 1899 showcases Hattie Tom, a woman from the Apache tribe, providing a glimpse of her identity and appearance within the Apache community. 
Elsie Vance Chestwin, associated with the Chiricahua tribe, is a historical figure whose narrative and identity unfolded within this specific indigenous community. The Chiricahua, a subdivision of the Apache, were known for their adaptability and resistance in the face of colonization and expansion. In 1886, we encounter Lizzie Longwolf, who played a role in Buffalo Bill's show, offering an opportunity to explore the world of entertainment performances during that period and examining her role within this context. A photograph from 1895 showcases a young member of the Hopi tribe, providing a glimpse into the unique culture and attire of this Native American group. Frank Reinhardt's 1899 photograph portrays Hattie Tom, a member of the Chiricahua Apache tribe, offering a close examination of her distinctive features and traditional attire, shedding light on the culture and traditions of the Chiricahua Apache people. Her traditional attire offers a glimpse into the wonderful culture and traditions of the Chiricahua Apache people. The image captured in 1886 depicts Isabel Perico and Jody, a member of the Tiracawa Apache tribe, during a moment that can be interpreted within the context of their capture and detention. This photograph records a historical juncture marked by conflicts and complex interactions between indigenous peoples and colonial forces. The exact date of this photograph is estimated to be around 1900. It portrays Alice, whose specific tribal affiliation is not explicitly mentioned. However, her facial features, clothing, and the surrounding environment provide valuable clues to understanding her cultural and tribal identity. In the image dated 1885, we encounter a young woman identified as a member of the Comanche tribe. This snapshot offers an opportunity to scrutinize distinctive details such as her facial features, attire, and the surrounding setting, shedding light on her culture and way of life. Moving to the year 1900, we observe a young Hopi woman on her wedding day. With this scene immortalizing the cultural and ceremonial elements inherent in this significant event, she is adorned in intricately embellished traditional attire, showcasing the rich artistic heritage of her community. This image from 1886 allows us to discern Julie Nelson, a historical figure dressed in accordance with the customs of her era. This photograph captures her appearance and demeanor, potentially offering insights into her emotional state or thoughts at that particular moment. Meanwhile, the painting Amy and Carrie Kayawa, crafted by George A. Addison in 1895, presents the figures of Amy and Carrie in a Kiowa context. The painting's style is notable for its meticulous attention to detail, vividly portraying the essence of the characters and their surroundings. During the 1880s, a group of young women from the Comanche tribe rose to prominence, making significant contributions to Comanche society and culture. They played vital roles in various aspects of daily life, the economy, and the preservation of generational traditions. We hope you have found this content enjoyable and informative. If you wish to stay updated on similar content, please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button and enabling the notification bell. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to providing you with more intriguing content in the future.